Hello bitches, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, the background is different and that's because I did a little bit of a studio transformation in which I will be showing in this video. So basically, ever since we moved in, this office has kind of been left blank and very minimal. We haven't really done anything to it, but considering what it was before when we first moved into this place, this is what it looked like. This is our future office space. So just keeping that in mind, I do feel like this office did come a long way. However, ever since then, I feel like we haven't really gotten the chance to make it feel like ours or at least for my side of the office, I haven't really made it feel like mine, but I really wanna make it a little bit more inspirational and creative and add a little bit more color because honestly, I'm not really a colorful person when it comes to myself and what I wear, as you can clearly see but I feel like I really thrive off of being surrounded by color, if you know what I mean. Like, I love colors, just not on me physically, but around me. And for those of you who are new here and wondering, I am currently an assistant episodic director for an animated series coming soon to you on Netflix. And as a director and storyboard artist, I feel like you really need to think a lot and sometimes it can be stressful and sometimes you might feel uninspired just like any artist does. So I feel like I need my space to really motivate me during those times and just keep like self-care things a little bit more accessible to me. So I'm hoping that with this studio transformation, I can have more self-care stuff be kept closer to me and have art supplies more accessible to me. You'll see that in the studio transformation. But before we get to that, let's get to the current state of my studio before the transformation. So yeah, this is currently my space and it's currently a bit of a H-O-T-M-E-S-S. -S. And, um, We've got to do something about this because this just is not cute at all. First things first is we got to declutter this and by we, I mean me. And yeah, here's also this corner of all of my cat's shit and my shit because this is also going to be a part of the transformation. So let's start with things that actually are working. This mirror is one of my favorite. It's actually from Boogie Woogie. And then over here, my boyfriend and I pretty much installed this wainscot and colored the first half of this wall a very pale light gray color, which I feel like is a nice accent. And then here's this rug that I got from Etsy. This rug also is kind of like a baseline of the kind of colors I'm going for. So first I just cleaned off everything on my side of the office, not to put the blame on anyone but my parents were actually here visiting me recently so I didn't have the time to really tend for my office space because I was spending time with them so yeah I swear to god I'm not like this on a normal basis and here is my room pretty much in its bare newborn state and then finally all of the materials for the makeover arrived i did all the unboxing downstairs because i was like i'm not gonna bring a mess back up and ruin all the cleaning i did so yeah i got pretty much one of those rolling utility carts that i see pretty much every artist or creative have and I'm not usually a cool tone color person, but I was just like, I just wanna have fun and experiment with colors that are not usually just warm toned or black and white. That's kind of what I usually go for. So I'm gonna go for teal with this. And then afterwards, I just got a new curtain and curtain rods because Currently, I have blinds where some of them have kind of ripped off and in general, I don't really like the blinds look because it makes me feel like I'm still back in a college dorm and I'm really trying to just remove myself from that mental space for now. Then over here, I've got an inspiration board in which I really want to start collecting the things that I really like and I feel like make me who I am and my interests so that I can remember to incorporate it in my art. So I'm gonna start posting things that inspire me on this inspiration board. And then here, I just pretty much got a desk organizer because I really need one as you can see from how disgusting my table was earlier. And then this is a wall shelf in which it's not currently assembled. And here's a wool mat that I got from Grovemade who I will be talking about more in this video and this is pretty much a mat that you just leave on your desk so that you know you're not 
always rubbing all of your keyboards and mouse and just other things on your desk. There are also some other things from Grovemade that I have upstairs, so I'll mention those in a bit. And then over here, I have the couch that we're gonna have to take up piece by piece because there's no way in this world that I am going to be able to carry this upstairs. She wasn't looking at me on the whole car ride home she because she was angry at <laughs> me. Anyway, it's time for the big boy. Secret agent pie. Secret agent pie. So once I brought everything upstairs, it was time for me to channel my inner Bob the Builder and set everything up. Honestly, this part was pretty fun and it took over the course of pretty much the whole weekend where on a Friday, I just literally set up the easy stuff like the wall shelf, just small decor pieces that I got in the mail was what I spent Friday setting up. And then on Saturday was the big boy day. That was the big couch day where we set up the couch, but little did I know that that was just the tip of the iceberg. So for the rest of Saturday, I pretty much spent around 12 hours straight of just purely working on this whole room makeover. I changed out the blinds for these curtains and I had to assemble everything on the wall, which honestly is my least favorite part because there's so much anxiety that just comes with it of making sure that everything looks perfect and straight and if it's messed up then shit. So it turns out I did all that cleaning in the beginning of this video for no reason because everything just got 10 times worse and now it is absolutely disgusting in here. But at least Pi enjoys it. So I got the wall shelf and the bulletin board mounted. Honestly, these were one of the hardest ones to do. I was finally able to hang up stuff that has always been just sitting around like this trash truck print as well as my YouTube play button, which has just been sitting in dust. Then I finally moved my desk back to the wall and prepared it for the workspace setup. And honestly, this part could not have been done without the help of Grove Made. Grove Made was kind enough to send me some of their products to try out, including this wool mat and a monitor stand and a metal tray that I can slide under the monitor stand. They specialize in creating products for your desk, home, and workspace, and trust me, these goods are high quality. Like they were pretty heavy when I had to carry them up and I can really envision myself using these for a long time. So stick to the end if you'd like to see how I finished my whole workspace setup in the final studio tour. So if any of you are like me and cannot stand the sight of chaotic wire sitting on your desk, I got this Velcro wire organizer where I can just wrap it all up like a burrito and slide it under the monitor stand. So bless the monitor stand. And then I put my little file organizer next to it. So this is a folder that I got from the Yoshitomo Nara exhibition from LACMA and I just like it as a print. So I was like, I'm not really gonna use this as a folder so I'm gonna turn it into a print. So I did. Then moving on to the couch area, I finally hung up all of the wall art around it and just decorated this area just so that it can truly feel like a podcast recording spot. So, you know, if I ever start a podcast in the future, this is probably the spot where it will all begin. But no, I currently do not have plans to do that. Fun fact, this couch is also a sofa bed so that when guests come over, they can sleep here now instead of on an airbed. And then finally, I added this organizer under my desk for all of the things that I am too lazy to organize on top of my desk. So finally, on the last day, I just pretty much spent it organizing all of the things on my little art trolley. I put paint on the bottom because it's not my most favorite medium. 
I'm sorry. And then on the second tier is where I pretty much put all of my inks and colored pencils and stuff like that because I am more likely to draw with pen and ink and my colored pencil, so I put that on my second tier. And here's a little dustpan to get rid of eraser dust and all of that. Then finally on the top tier, I just put my basic stationery and organizational supplies because I'm more likely to use this to just plan, doodle, and just write. And yeah, that is my art trolley. And then next, I did a little fun final DIY project of printing out things that inspire me. And yes, that includes fan art from you lovely bishes. And Moonpai is always so curious about the printer. I don't know why, she's just always curious about when I print things. And then next, I did a little self-laminate project where I got this self-laminating sheets that I put on top of the inspirational things I printed out because for some reason this makes me feel like I am taking my inspiration a little bit more seriously instead of just leaving them on flimsy printer paper. Also, another little fun thing I did was I actually kept a lot of random tissue paper or scrap paper or gift wrapping paper, magazine paper that I just thought was really cute and aesthetic and now I finally put it to good use onto my inspiration bulletin board. Anyway, let's take a moment of silence to remember what this space looked like before. So this is the final room. Well, at least for now. Oh, hello, Bon. So to start off, this is currently my workspace. It's definitely a lot more full and colorful than it was before. Over here, I put my little art trolley of all the things that I'll really be using. And basically on the bottom, Mrs. Pie, this is not your time to shine. On the bottom, I basically put all the painting goods or supplies that I feel like I won't really be using the most because I'm not really a painter. So I just leave them on the bottom in the case that, you know, if I do want to paint, I can still grab it, but it's not the easiest to grab. Then on the second tier, I have things like my sketchbook, pens and inks, because I'm definitely more of a pen and ink person. I even have my colored pencils because these are my favorite colored pencils ever. And yeah, planner stickers. And here I just have a little rolling thing to get lint and fur off of the couch and a little dustpan for the desk because whenever I color or draw things on my desk, I either get eraser dust or colored pencil shavings on it. So it's just easier if I have a little thing like that. And it was only $3 at home goods, so why not? Then on the top drawer, I have my more commonly used things, which is kind of more for planning, journaling, and just general writing stuff or just, you know, common stationary goods. This is a mug that I actually got from work and it is so adorable. So I had to put all of my pastel highlighters and stuff in it. And then I just have some washi tape, clips, stickers, index cards, highlighters, and pins, and just organizational and cleaning stuff there. Then moving on to my desk, I have my iMac and my Cintiq, which I got last year. However, I will say that this version of the Cintiq is not my favorite. As you can see, I got these scratches on it. Literally this one, I got it within the same week of getting my Cintiq. And then this one, I just got it like a few months later. And I just feel like this Cintiq is so easily scratchable compared to the old one. This is the one that I used to use at school all the time and I think this is my favorite Cintiq. This one is not my favorite Cintiq, but whatever, what can you do? And over here, I have my little self-care corner and organizer that I got from Grove Made. This is a heart lamp from my friend, and I have a little book by Yumi Sakugawa about the little book of life hacks, just because I feel like sometimes I just need this type of book more accessible near me. Like this is a type of book that you'd probably just leave on your bookshelf and never touch again, but hey, if I'm in between meetings or doing something busy and I need a break, I have a book right here to remind me to take care of myself and it's not too far away to reach. If you're a fan of the smell of sage, this I just 
Honestly, I smell it and I feel so much more relaxed. So sometimes I'll just put this on my hands when I'm in a meeting and it just relaxes me. And then this is of course a fidget cube that I got from my boyfriend. And I also just use that during meetings when I just need shit to do with my hands. And then here I just have my zinc pills and this is where I organize my supplements and I put little stickers on it to remind me that self-care is fun. And then this is Moon Pie's um, ointment because she currently has a scratch on her ear. And then over here is where I just put my stuff and the tray from Grove Made, which I put my most commonly used things for my comics and I can just easily tuck it away in here. But yeah, and then I just have this wool mat from Grove Made, which I love so much because I feel like I'm not scratching up my desk. As you can see over here, I already have like scratches on my desk from where I used to have the Cintiq. And another thing that I love about this monitor stand is I can just hide all of the wires and technical stuff that I just don't want to be seen, right? In between and under this monitor stand. Then I have my mirror that I just pretty much use to put on my makeup but also use for expressions or references. And then over here I just have my file organizer to put all of my stuff because I feel like I just need a place to organize the chaos that happens on my desk sometimes. So I have my iPad here. This is the case where I put all of my comics when I'm done with them. Got it from Daiso. My planner, my comic planner, <laughs> and then just my general note-taking notebook. Then this is a fake cactus because I feel like I really wanna get into getting more plants, but I don't wanna just rush into getting more plants just because I wanna do it for this video tour. I wanna be a responsible plant owner and get plants when I feel ready to do so. And then I always like to joke about how this is like the ashes of somebody, but this is just baking soda. I just keep it here because sometimes when, you know, your room just smells, I just feel like I need an odor neutralizer. I just cannot work or focus when something smells really bad around me. So I just keep this here. And then I just got this random iron thing from Home Goods. I didn't really know why I got this, but I just feel like this will come to use at some point. Then I have my bulletin board of inspiration. They are mainly my favorite music artists. This is the show that I'm currently working on at Tonko House. And this is me when I was a child because I feel like I just need a photo of myself when I was younger to remind myself to be my inner child sometimes and remember to enjoy the things that I once used to as a kid. And of course, here's some of the fan art from you lovely bishes. I hope to eventually have a more proper place to put fan art and display them in a more proper way. But for now, I just printed out a few and included them on my inspiration board. Cause fun fact, <laughs> You all inspire me. So this is my wall shelf and this cactus is actually real. It's actually my second plant. I'm actually a little bit too embarrassed to show my first plant because, you know, we had a lot of trial and error as he was my first plant. And then this is a zine from my friend Michelle. Then over here, I have a doll that somebody made of me. And here I just have two more fake plants because God knows that, you know, I'm not ready for more children right now. And then in between, I just have two sketchbooks and then one book that helps you learn to manage your mood, your anger. Then over here, I have the same Lum print that I had in my old place. This is a new print that I actually got in Little Tokyo. I'll insert the artist's handles here. And then over here, I have a print of Trash Truck from Glenn Keane from when we were all working on Trash Truck together. My Disney internship drawing that my friend Camilo made for all of us. And he's probably watching this and just like, oh my gosh, why do you still have that? But bitch, I love it and I still have it. So yeah, and over here I have my YouTube 100K play button that I finally decided to hang up after all of these years. But yeah, and then over here, I just replaced the blinds with these curtains. This is my hat, but this is really a tripod that I use for my draw with me. So this is what I use and this is usually where I draw, but now I have a printer here, so that might change. So yeah, this is the printer that I just use to scan my comics and print out shipping labels for the times that I used my Etsy shop. 
Then under my desk, I just got this storage container from Target. You know, it's just one of those college dorm essentials things, but I just needed something where I store anything that I deem to be a hot mess and chaotic to leave out. So I will spare you all from seeing what's inside. Then I have my workout stuff and my tripod. I have my little cover thing for my extension cord because these bitches always be stepping on it. And there have been many times where they stepped on the little power button and I actually lost my work. So I put a cover box on top and that's a battery backup for any of you artists who are very concerned about losing your work and there's a power outage. I have not installed it yet, but this was only $44 at Best Buy. So I've also had times where my power would just blink out for like a moment and then all of my shit would just close out and I would lose my work and it was very frustrating. Again, it's just really hard being a digital artist when you have unreliable power sometimes. So this is a battery backup where if your power did go out for a moment, you have 157 minutes of runtime left so your computer and everything will stay on and you can have that time to save up your work, backup shit and yeah. Yep, here is my chair from flexi spot and just pillows blankets because it gets cold sometimes currently have the l-shaped stand desk from autonomous where i can pretty much lower the height and raise it to my liking and then moving on to this area is where i put the couch and decorated it with some pillows this is again the mirror that i got from my friends from a place called boogie woogie then here are just some prints that i got from the yoshitomo nara exhibition from lacma and this is actually a folder but i just decided to put it as a print and then here is a neon sign that i just got from target because i feel like as basic as it might seem to some people it is something that i feel like i do need a reminder of to just have some good vibes because most of the time i feel like this but but I need to be reminded to feel like this more. And then this is a print that I got from my sister from the artist that I will just insert the handlebar of here. And then a vintage cat poster that I got from Society6. And then over here is a rug that I got from Etsy. You normally will see this in my Instagram stories whenever I film my cats and the TV that we just used to play VR or sometimes when my boyfriend wants to like show something that he's playing on his screen, he can just broadcast it on that TV and I will just watch from my desk on what's happening on the screen. Or sometimes we'll just have a fucking dance party. But yeah, that's all there pretty much is to my office studio makeover transformation slash tour. But yeah, now that I have this couch, I feel like there's another spot that I can actually film on now and it's actually fun to have a background like this. I feel like doing this was really fun just because I'm not normally a person who really enjoys incorporating colors. As you can see from my shirt right now, I am normally a very black and white person when it comes to like my general fashion sense, but I feel like I've come to learn that I'm someone that just really needs color around me to feel inspired. Like I really love colors. I love pastel colors or vibrant, unusual colors that people end up putting together. But yeah, it's like I need the extreme opposite of me around me to really inspire me. So that's kind of what I was hoping to do with this room is to make it a little bit less minimalistic and add more color. And another thing I learned is that things are never really just done. Like even though I just made this video, I feel like this makes it official that this is my official studio tour, but there are just things that I still would like to add, incorporate or change about this place. Like I really wanna become a better plant owner, but I'm not gonna just do it for this video. So, you know, in the future, maybe I'll be adding some plant babies to this room whenever the time feels right. And you know what, considering where this studio was before, when we first got this place, I think that this is a total studio transformation if we consider what it was before we bought it. Anyway, thank you all for watching this studio tour. There will be more videos to come now with this new setup and background and hopefully that will be more fun. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this inspired some of you and I will see you all in the next one. So peace out and stay wholesome, bitches.